Morning guys. I'm here in Benchikiti Park here in Bangkok. Of all the years that I visited here in Thailand, since 2017, living here for the past year, this is actually my first time checking out Benchikiti Park. About time. It's a very beautiful park. I can see this park being a great place for picnics, for runs, walks, a lot of trees, a lot of vegetation. So it's got a lot of cooling when you're walking through these uh, shaded areas. So definitely come check this out. But a couple days ago, as I was running to my favorite degenerate bar here in Bangkok, I call it my safe space because literally it's my safe space. I can just talk about whatever dumb shit I usually talk about at that bar while I get drunk. Anyways, as I was visiting my favorite degenerate bar, I ran into a subscriber, a Chinese American and Asian American dude. Uh, let's just call him Ben. Ben has lived here in Bangkok for more than 10 years. So he's quite the expat vet veteran. And you know, we're just talking, getting to know each other. And as the conversation progressed, as we were getting more and more drunk off of gin and tonics, you know, we compared and talked about our Asian American experience, you know, comparing the lifestyle as Asian Americans, as Chinese Americans, living here in Bangkok versus back where we grew up, back in Northern California, back in the Bay Area. And, you know, we came to the conclusion that obviously, you know, as Asian Americans, you know, as American minorities, we feel much more at home living here in Bangkok versus back in America. I'm gonna go over a couple examples why you know, from an Asian American, American minority perspective of why, from the way we grew up back in the States, from our perspective, that we feel much more safe. We consider, we feel much more safe. We have, I hate to bring race into this, but you know, imagine if you had white privilege back home in America, because let's be honest, you know, there are certain advantages that I have as an American living in America, but at the same time, I'm always, you know, I'm gonna be Asian American in a lot of perspectives. My advantages and my disadvantages as living as an Asian American, as an American minority in the States versus living here in Thailand where I have a heavy advantage as an Asian American, especially as somebody that is of Chinese ethnicity. And we're gonna go over our experiences that me and Ben have talked about when we were completely shithoused back at my safe space bar in Bangkok. Guys, I've always never understood these park gym equipment. Like, does this thing actually freaking work? I feel retarded and a bit insecure just doing that. So for many of you guys that have been following this channel, it's, there's no big surprise that I'm Asian American living here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, I grew up in California during the 90s. If you're a minority living in America, you're gonna encounter a decent amount of racism and discrimination. That's just a fact of life, man. You know, so growing up as a kid, you know, I've had racial epithets thrown at me, being called a chink, gook, jap. I've gone to fights over my ethnicity. My friends who are also Asian American, Chinese American, have also gone to fights uh, back in high school. So there's a, always a lot of racial conflict, especially in middle school and high school growing up. And then, you know, as soon as college, when I went to college, my university was comprised of 60% Asian American. So, you know, things got a lot better, uh, a lot better, you know, leaving high school. Let's just be real. All the dumbass racist idiots, they couldn't make it into university. So f those guys. So obviously growing up and dealing with that, I mean, that was a massive, I mean, it wasn't the most ideal situation that you want to raise your family in. But anyways, going through a lot of racial discrimination in high school and in middle school, growing up with a lot of Hollywood media, essentially just painting Asian Americans, especially Asian American males, as effeminate, weak, uh, passive, non-violent. We were considered as non-threatening, sterile creatures. 
And obviously, you know, when people consume media in Hollywood, they, they're programmed a certain way. We were always cast in more of a negative light. Now, the positive light is that I guess you can stereotype us as, you know, smart kids, straight A students, calculus, whatever. Except for me, I was a, I was a bad Asian. I was a dumbass Asian. I was not good at math, period. So you've had those several effects of negative portrayal of Hollywood media, my high school upbringing, you know, being called a chink, a gook, uh, and dating. Dating was especially tough as an Asian American, and especially dating as an Asian American male, if you were to date outside of your race, was especially difficult. Uh, it was a very, it was an uphill battle for me. I've had my whole PUA days and did the whole pickup stuff. That's for another story. But, uh, you know, dating as an Asian American male back then was, it was just a pure uphill battle. You know, a lot of rejections, but at the same time, I was great, fortunate and grateful for a lot of my successes. And then there was the army. So going through that, of course, you know, you're going to be around people that have never seen an Asian person before, other than in television and in media. And they'll come up here, they'll crack racist jokes. Some of them are curious, but surprisingly, as an Asian American joining the army, I felt more comfortable being bonded with my brothers and sisters in arms than I do with the general population. For the most part, I'll never paint the military in a negative light because you, you experience a bond that you will never experience anywhere else. People that are, will actually kill and die for you and protect you, regardless of your background, your race, your creed, whatever. We're literally brothers in arms. Then once I left the military, I worked for a bit and then I started traveling here to Thailand. I noticed being here in Southeast Asia as an Asian American minority that I have a certain amount of privilege tra living and traveling here in this part of the world. You know, whereas my friend would like to call it Asian privilege. F it. I'm gonna use that privilege to my advantage. It's crazy because when I first came to Thailand back in 2017, I immediately felt completely comfortable, probably because I'm Asian just like them. As somebody of Chinese ethnicity, you're looked, you're looked upon higher with a higher economic advantage. They associate me with somebody of a higher economic advantage of status, of wealth, even though I'm not wealthy. And the reason why they think this way is because the largest Chinese diaspora is here in Thailand with more than 10 million Thai Chinese living here in this country. A lot of the Thai Chinese here play a heavy influence in the economy, in the political scene, in all aspects of life here in Thailand. They've got wealth and status. So coming from an Asian American perspective, if I come here to this country and they automatically see me as somebody of wealth and status, even though I may not be, and they treat me you know, with kindness and respect, you know, despite whether I have money or not, why not just stay here? Why not raise my family here? Versus back in America, whereas Asian Americans back home, even though we have higher earning income per median household per capita, we're still heavily discriminated, we're still attacked, whether it's by this race or that, that race. I'm not gonna get into specific details, but there's still a shit ton of problems as Asian Americans living in America, or even as minorities living in America. And I've heard plenty of cases where a lot of my friends who are black, who are Latin American, that, that have been living here in Thailand for quite some time, they'll go through some problems here and there. There's gonna be some discrimination from the police here, but it's not as bad as the shit that they went through back home in America. Generally, our overall experiences were treated far better here in this country. Of course, we still have our fair share of problems, but our, we have a general net positive here in this country versus being treated back home in our homeland. So experiencing this whole treatment as an Asian American where I don't have to worry about this shit or my family being hurt or even possibly getting killed versus living here in Thailand where generally, you know, as long as you make good money, because I hate to say it and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, money rules the world, money is how well you get treated or how well you don't get treated. That's just the way of life. But after experiencing life back in America versus life here in Thailand, because of these two comparable experiences, 
That has shaped me to become very libertarian. My, my thought process, everything is very libertarian because I don't have a loyalty to, to a specific country. I go where I'm treated best. The only loyalty I have is to my friends, my family, myself, and God. That's it. Anything else, it's up for debate. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys agree with me, disagree with me, you guys have another perspective. If I'm missing anything, leave it on the comments down below. I know you subs out there, my community, there's a wide range of all ages, guys from different backgrounds. So really curious to hear your guys' perspective and your thoughts on all this. Yeah. Any, any type of nuances or anything, leave it on the comments down below. So I'm grabbing a late lunch at this restaurant over in here in Asok and I ordered a matcha tea. This is the most interesting matcha tea I've ever I've ever been served. This is big as shit. Mm, not bad. Refreshing. Hey, how you doing? I'll watch you, I'll, I'll, Hey, I'm Daniel's lifestyle. I Daniel's lifestyle. Nice yeah. to meet you. All right, so grabbing us some quick lunch right now. Ran into Daniel with uh, Daniel's lifestyle. You said you just came back here. How long have, have you came back from? Uh, you're originally from Canada, and you came back to. Uh, yeah, I've been coming Thailand. to Bangkok for years, ever since 2016, and you know, was going to come down here in 2020, but the pandemic held me back. So now I'm here. I've been here two months, and uh, I came from Toronto lived in Calgary for a while, and now I'm living here in Bangkok, so pretty solid, you know, I'm hanging out here and uh, met you for it. So far after being back here for two months, you love it here? You want to go back to Canada? There's no there's no <laughs> reason that I can come up with to go back to uh, to go back to Canada. Like, I mean, the culture, the lifestyle, the food, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just a great, great lifestyle out here. And if you have the chance to do it, I recommend you come out here. More than two weeks, come and enjoy, you know, you know just even Thailand in general and do some traveling. I would probably say about a month or two would be great for anybody coming out here. That's what I've been telling everybody. Yeah. Quit being the two week millionaire, stay here Stay here for a long stay. You're gonna That's enjoy right. this country way more. Yeah. You guys get a chance, uh, check out Dano's Instagram. Link is in the description below. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, hey, no worries. Awesome, thanks for us. I'm cool. trying to pay for my own bill and Dano won't let me. What the heck, bro? No, not this time, Forrest, not this time. <laughs> I, I got it this time. I appreciate it, brother. No Thank worries. you. Thank Anytime. you. Well, that was a really lovely lunch. Good to run into Dano. Definitely check his uh, Instagram down in the description below. Anyways, to conclude this video, I'm not here to demonize white people or black people or Asian people or whatever ethnic group is. No matter what race you are, everybody goes through a level of discrimination. My advice to you is that if you're going through some type of discrimination, some type of racial discrimination, if you're Asian, white, black, whatever your eth ethnic background might be, move with your feet. Move. Don't fight it, move and find your new home. Whether your new home could be in Thailand or in Vietnam or some other part of the world, move with your feet and experience a more stress-free life, a happier life. Anyways, I'm in a street here with a ton of massage parlors, so I'm like getting me a foot massage or something. The soak is very interesting. Anyways, it's me, me for here. Stay safe, take care, love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.